Item number SCP-4110, Optic Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-4110 cannot be conveniently contained, efforts should be focused on retrieval and destruction of SCP-4110-1 instances, as well as information suppression. Standard Project Retrieval Protocols, including Cover Story C, Carcinogenic Materials, are to be used all SCP-4110-1 instances are to be contained in the low-priority lockers of Site-23. Usage of SCP-4110-1 are only allowed with permission of Project Head. MTF Kappa-15 Fun Police is tasked with recalls of many toy-based anomalous products, including SCP-4110-1 instances, for more information, consult standard Ramanoli Bitler Wondertainment Suppression Protocol. Note, Ramanoli Bitler Wondertainment Suppression Protocol, Foundation Web Portal Program, Party Crasher, is to regularly scan the internet for Wondertainment-related phrases. If keywords are found, the website where the word is discovered is to be scanned for any suspicious anonymous activity or people of interest. Information is to be given to the nearest available Department of Analytics Analyst for vetting. If anomalous activity or people of interest are discovered and vetted, keywords are to be scrubbed from the website and location of activity or POI is to be pinpointed. Nature of anomalous activity is to be discovered at this time. If anomaly is not registered in the SCP database, Information is to be given to the Head of the Department of Analytics for further instruction. When activity is pinpointed and the location is triangulated, MTF Kappa 7 Fun Police is to be deployed to confiscate and or capture anomalous objects POI for steady interrogation. If POI is not an anomalous bystander, interview and administer Class A amnestics and release. If found to be an accomplice to known POIs, the person is to be kept for further interrogation. Kappa 7 agents should be embedded in all regional offices of the affected store chains and monitor products in all stores in the region during the month of October. The Foundation Negro Department is to prevent affected retail chains from closure or bankruptcy as these scenarios aggravate the anomaly. See Addendum 41101- Description SCP-4110 is a phenomenon affecting party costume retail chains Party City, Toys R Us, no longer applies, and Spirit Halloween on the last two weeks of October annually. Costumes referred to as instances of SCP-4110-1 designed for children age 3 to 18 will anonymously appear in random stores of the affected retail chains in North America. The anomaly appears more frequently in cities that have a fan convention of any kind. During the time that SCP-4110 is active, all costumes are of average commercial quality and made out of non-anomalous products. At least six variants of SCP-4110 have been confirmed as surviving. All SCP-4110-1 instances affect the perception of humans observing SCP-4110-1 users, SCP-4110-2, in different ways. Depending on the variant of SCP-4110-1, costumes like the Inconspicuous Investigator or Lesser Third Turbo affect visual perception of observers of SCP-4110-2, while costumes like Wilfred the Werewolf and the Automaton affect perception of sounds created by SCP-4110-2. The anomaly will only activate when wearing the entire set that comprises an SCP-4110-1 instance. Wearing different components from different variants does not produce an anomalous effect, nor do different components from different instances of the same variant. Despite age restrictions labeled on the packaging, anyone can wear an SCP-4110-1 instance as long as they can fit into the costume. 
all SCP-4110-1 instances via manufacturing tags and packaging stickers from Wondertainment, along with another company called Societe du Costume Plenormal. Note, Societe du Costume Plenormal has a listed headquarters in Deep Normandy, France on each package. No specific address is listed. No company named Societe du Costume Plenormal exists and no factory or offices associated with that name has been found. It is presumably a front company for the entertainment brand. The name is most likely a parody of the foundation's use of the abbreviation SCP on the majority of the front companies. List of SCP-4110-1 variants The Surgical Stork SCP-4110-1A The costume is comprised of a black hooded cloak a traditional plague doctor's mask, and a doctor's bag. The doctor's bag contains an assortment of toy medical equipment, such as a stethoscope, rubber hammer, and plastic syringes. The plague doctor mask is made from plastic with mesh eye holes. During testing, subjects reported that nearby personnel looked sick with cartoonish thermometers in their mouths and hot water bottles on their heads. Lizards are terrible. SCP 4110 1B. The costume is an inflatable Tyrannosaurus Rex costume made from polyester with a square translucent plastic square in its throat for wearers to see out of. A speaker is lodged in the throat of the costume and can be activated via a button on the inside of the left hand of the costume. When the button is pressed, a noise highly similar to that produced by Conodorus Sostre is submitted. Note, this conclusion was reached after anatomical comparisons to SCP-1265A instances. The sound is of much higher quality than the type of speaker should allow. When the costume is worn, observers will perceive that SCP-4110-2 is a Conodorus. This effect occurs even when in spaces where the conductors could not logically fit, with the space appearing to expand to accommodate the size of the conductors. Double-blind test subjects unaware of SCP-4110-2 also see the spatial distortion. The cognito hazard only affects vision, so if the subject speaks, a human voice will appear to originate from the conductors' mouth. The anomaly does not affect photographs or videos. The costume is highly resistant to puncture or slicing, despite being made of plastic. The Inconspicuous Investigator, SCP-4110-1C. The costume is a package consisting of a brown trench coat, gloves, a magnifying glass, and a fedora. When all of the items were worn, the subject is imperceptible to the observer, essentially making the subject's body invisible. The effect extends to photographs, security footage, and heat sensors. The costume itself is still visible while being worn, so use for espionage is extremely limited. Wilford the Werewolf SCP-4110-1D The costume is comprised of a plastic werewolf mask, ripped flannel jacket, and distressed jeans. When worn, all vocalizations made by SCP-4110-2 will sound like vocalizations made by Kenneth Lupus to the observers and change depending on the tone and inflection of the subject. Barking while talking without inflection, howling when talking loudly, growling when using a threatening tone. The Automaton and the Automatonette SCP-4110-1E the costume is comprised of a cubical aluminum head with an antenna protruding out the top of the head, which appears to be modified dry ducting, and an aluminum chest plate with LEDs that randomly turn on and off without a power source. The costume is available in two genders, with the female costume adding a conical skirt around its waist. When worn, Observers report the subject's footsteps always sound like heavy metal is slammed onto concrete. 
Subjects have also been reported to emit sounds of servos and gears when joints are moved. When subjects speak, their voices are modulated to sound metallic and robotic, with observers drawing comparisons to the Daleks from the British television show Doctor Who. Scales measuring the subject put a weight approximately beep times as heavy as the subject's actual weight. Bell decomposing. SCP 4110 1F. The costume is comprised of a four meter long row of linen bandages. Instructions that come with the costume instruct the buyer how to wrap the bandages around themselves, suggesting to use a partner to help. When the bandages are completely wrapped around the body, the cognito hazard effect manifests. Observers will perceive the subject as a mobile decomposing body, wrapped in bandages, which looks and smells identical to a rotting corpse. The details of the rotting body are different for each subject, but constants include maggots or other insects in the body, sections of missing skin or muscle, exposed bones or organs, and patches of fear fallen out. If an observer insert an object into the wound they perceive to be real, the subject will perceive the object to phase through their body and not injuring them. Note that is found on each purchase of an SCP-4110-1 instance. Holy macro! Looks like you found your very own Dr. Wondertainment's Wonder costume. Spook your friends, scare your relatives, and make your neighbors shriek with fright with the exciting creation brought to you by the people at Dr. Wondertainment and Co. Dr. Wondertainment's Wonder costumes are a fun, exciting way to ring in Samhain that is guaranteed to bring in a veritable mountain of candy for Halloween. Not only that, but Dr. Wondertainment wonder costumes are super realistic and is guaranteed to scare the pants out of any granny who'd store you locked down. Warning, do not go near elderly people or people with heart conditions while wearing Dr. Wondertainment's wonder costume. Dr. Wondertainment does not guarantee a literal mountain of candy. Dr. Wondertainment is not responsible for any assault and battery committed against the user of the Wonder costume, nor responsible if anyone dies of fright. Additional specialized notes found with variants of SCP-4110-1. SCP-4110-1A Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a doctor? Have you ever thought you were born in the wrong generation and wanted to dress like it? 1492. Well, now you can! Using Dr. Wonder Team's surgical stock, you too can know what it's like to be a real doctor. And know if people are sick with the handy Dr. Wonder Team's tunnel vision, cure people of the pestilence, and bring babies into the world, all for the price of one costume. Buy now when supplies last! The surgical stock does not qualify you to be an actual doctor, nor give the use of medical knowledge or the ability to discern one's sickness. Dr. Wondertainment's tool no vision is for entertainment purposes only. The surgical stock does not allow you to deliver a baby like a medical professional, cartoonish stock, or cure pestilence, whatever that may be. SCP 4110 1B Lizard was the king of the beast, feared by all, his roar hid for miles around. Now you can follow in his fossilized footsteps, using Dr. Wonder Timmy's own lizard and terrible costume. Be the hush talk of the town behind closed doors as you reenact Godzilla's rampage in your very own hometown. I pray that lizard will get stuck in your crap grandma's house. No worries, with the planet space and time stretch your rama, your costume can fit anywhere. For finding you don't pop the costume. Any and all property damage has caused if or when fire of Lizard the Terrible goes on a rampage is not the fault of Doctor Entertainment and Co. SCP 4110-1C. Everyone loves Sherlock Holmes, right? He's dashing, intelligent, British, and always solves the case. Almost sounds like a sudden toy maker. But you know what he doesn't have that we can give you? Invisibility, courtesy of Dr. Wendertainment, like ventilator. 
How can Moriarty can find you if not even leg can penetrate your disguise? Hunt for clues and get on the trail with Dr. Winter Chambers' inconspicuous investigator today. Any and all parallels between Dr. Winter Chambers' inconspicuous investigator and Herbert Wells, the Invisible Man, were completely coincidental. They are two completely different entities and all completely original concepts. SCP 4110 1D. Do you want to transform into a creature that strikes fear into the hearts of men and women? Do you want your very voice to turn blood into ice and urine into yellow ice? Now you can with Dr. Wondertainment's Wilfred the Werewolf. Using patented sound bending technology, this costume will scare even the most seasoned monster hunters stiff with fright. And then unstiffen in time for the strategic retreat. Get it now when surprise lies. SCP 4110 1E. Are you a fan of the good old sci fi of yesteryear? When robots descend from on high and Captain Nemo still sail the open sea? Well, now live that sci fi with Dr. Wonderment the Automaton and the optional female version the Automatonette. Now you can be taken to our leaders and come outside and say hello world. The costumes are made more realistic using genuine gear and several noises from actual machines. Wow! You're very that your voice will reveal your identity as a fleshy meat bag. Not to worry. As with our planet, a dubbing dynamic voice adapter, you can keep your identity a secret and your voice as mechanical as possible. Dr. Wondertainment's costume cannot actually give you the authority to demand to speak to your leaders of the local, regional, or national importance that the world didn't already have. SCP-4110-1F Fellow Stephen D. Composon was once a mighty king whose power stretched from Cabo, Illinois to Thebes, Illinois. When he finally died, his body was laid to rest in a mighty temple where he would sleep for eternity. Unfortunately, the eternal sleep was made uneternal by an evil curse which raised him from the dead, a husk of his former self. Now you can be the fellow himself, scaring everyone just by the fumes of your still rotting corpse. Shuffle and moan your way to popularity using the scariest costume ever made by Dr. Wonder Timid and Co. Have friends try to touch your heart literally and laugh at the disgusted face. Kill at your friends retching because of your squishy flesh. Buy one now while supplies last. You can see why he only used his last name. Interview 4110-1 Interviewed David Beep and Jennifer Beep. Interviewer, Dr. Beep Door. Forward, David and Jennifer had posted a picture of themselves wearing SCP-4110-1E instances onto social media. They were quickly apprehended by Kappa 7 to be interviewed and administered amnestics. Begin now. State your names and ages for the record, please. Uh, my name is David Beep, and I'm 17 years old. My name is Jennifer Beep, and I'm 17 years old, too. Are we in trouble? No, you're not. I'm with the World Health Organization, and you brought costumes known for containing carcinogenic material. They just want to apprehend the people who thought it would be a good idea to put that stuff in children's costumes. Can please tell me where and why you two brought the costumes? Well, uh, me and Jennifer were going to a party at my friend Matt's house, all right? Right. But since it's near Halloween, everyone is supposed to bring costumes and sh stuff, so me and Jen went down to the party city place, you know the one down near the intersection of Beep and Beep? I know of it, yes. And we found these really cool robot costumes, they look all so old fashioned and square and stuff, and it came in both girl and boy, so we were like sweet, and we bought them, so we were so pumped for the party and how great they were, but man, they were really heavy, so we buy them, go to my house, put them on, and the weirdest thing happened, every time we moved, we sounded like a car with a bad transmission, and when Jen talked, she sounded like a freaking Dalek from Doctor Who. 
<sighs> Do you need a drink of water or anything? Nah, I'm fine. Anyway, we just figured the voice and sounds were being made by the voice modifier thing, whatever they're called. So we took those pictures, posted them, and get ready to get in the car. But when we went out on the porch, a damn thing collapsed on us. So we figured we should just stay home, since the costumes were all dented up after that. And Jen felt like she had a headache. Did you, Jen? Jennifer nodded in agreement. Does she always talk like this? Yeah, all the time. Uh, anyways, uh, what happened after that? Well, Jen stayed over at my house for the night for homework, because, you know, we have school on Monday. But then in the morning, freaking SWAT breaks down our door, and here we are. Is this all true, Jennifer? Yes. Well, thank you for your cooperation, both of you. It will help immensely with the investigation. And no. Closing statement. The SCP-4110-1 instances were seized, and Class A amnestics were administered to David and Jennifer. Discovery! SCP-4110 was originally reported in Beep, Minnesota on October 28, 1990 Beep. After several civilians called the police department, panicked about a goddamn dinosaur rampaging around my neighborhood. MTF Epsilon-6 village idiots were deployed, but shortly discovered that the dinosaur was an eight-year-old boy in an inflatable dinosaur costume. Addendum 41101. After Toys R Us declared bankruptcy, additional instances of SCP-41101 have been observed in other stores belonging to the Party City retail chain and other previously unaffected retail chains, primarily in Australia. The Foundation purchased the Toys R Us franchise for 1.2 billion US dollars, reopening many of its stores. SCP-4110 has since ceased to appear in previously unaffected storefronts and remains contained.